Good morning, everyone. Dr. Vicki here speaking to you from the Seeds of Transformation Healing Center. Today is um, the 7th, yes, of August, and it is a Wednesday. Um, we have the moon in Virgo still all day. We actually have a number of um, larger things happening today. The first thing I want to talk about is a, a relationship between a Jupiter and um, Pluto. We have a sesquiquadrate today and it's, it's um, a waxing sesquiquadrate and sesquiquadrates are considered humbling aspects. And the two planets associated with um, this is Pluto, the planet of power, and Jupiter, the planet of expansion. And Jupiter can be very um, overly optimistic about things. People, um, Jupiter, while naturally a sort of a benefic, helpful energy, can, uh, in its negative sense, be too much, uh, too much of, of anything. And uh, it can be, uh, as, a, as the ruling planet of Sag, it can be too much optimism, but it can also be feeling like you, you know too much, or you're you're just too important to have to like deal with the details of, of something. So, this combination uh, can indicate a struggle between ambition and the need to learn, like how to go about, you know, doing things. So, uh, it's very much in its way uh, reflected in people like. Donald Trump or people like Elon Musk, who, what is that expression, are too clever by half, but actually not very clever at all, because they have too high of an opinion of themselves. And so this kind of energy will bring down that kind of energy. It's a very much a humbling aspect. So that's happening right now. It's happening today. And <clears throat> what's interesting about the combination is that this is a larger cycle that's coming to an evolutionary uh, gateway point. And this cycle began back in 2020 when these two planets conjoined three times in the sign of Capricorn. And of course, Capricorn is about traditional leadership, right? So <clears throat> those leaders out there who think they have it all figured out are in trouble. Those leaders out there who who know and don't take things for granted at this time and are willing to learn and willing to do the work that's necessary to bring them to the place that they, they, they aspire to go to are a much better stead. So honestly, I think it's interesting. One of the first things that Kamala Harris said yesterday after she uh, announced Tim Walls and then they went to, to Philly and all of that happening, uh, was that uh, this is when the hard work begins. She's not taking for granted that all of this uh, uh, hoopla around her is a guarantee that she's going she's gonna to win. She knows what's ahead of her. And uh, I think both these people are willing to do the work because as many women know, we have to work twice as hard to get half as far. Right. And so somebody who gets as far as Kamala Harris has gotten has worked even harder than twice as hard. And of course, her and this guy uh, and Tim, who, by the way, that's who I thought when I first saw him. I'm like, this guy needs to be the vice president. Right. And I think I might have mentioned it to you guys because somebody said you were right. And I don't even remember if I mentioned it. The thing was, is that was my first instinct. But then I started to listen to the pundits and I was like, well, you know, maybe there's, there's, Phil, there's Pennsylvania. And so I started doubting myself since so I started listening to the logical side of things. So I'm going to try to avoid listening to the logical side of things from now on. All right. So that's happening. Um, and, and I, you know, I, Tim Walls is also somebody who's, you know, he, he was freaking farmer and now he's a vice presidential candidate. So, you know, it's just, uh, 
it's just a perfect sort of American story in a way well, for the vice president and for the president, um, who will be the vice president and the president, by the way. Anyway, so we also have the sun make a sextile to Jupiter. Sun and Jupiter are the two largest bodies in the heavens, and we can be very overly optimistic. It opens, but it does also open the lines of communication. So we can utilize this energy to benefit everybody so we can get the information out. But for those who are tendency towards that egomania stuff, Look at look at this cat. He's on the he's on the table. He would never get away with that in the house. He's not allowed to be on tables in the house. But out here he's he's loving life. Okay. Anyway, um overconfident that little kitty. But only outside. Um so that's something to consider as well. And then lastly, um Mercury retrograde makes a conjunction to Venus today. Venus is direct, Mercury is retrograde at four degrees of uh, Virgo. This is when the heart and the mind comes together. And I just want to uh, talk about the symbol, the symbol, the Sabian symbol for this degree. Um, it's black and white children playing together. Freedom from prejudice. Freedom from prejudice. So this is the potential. We can feel it, we can see it. There's also potential for disaster for those people who think too much of themselves and aren't willing to do the work. They just feel like they should be there because they deserve it, or they're smart, or they're rich, or they're brilliant, or whatever that is. Okay, so that's the story, Morning Glories. I think it's going to be a good day. Um, if you can, help, uh, help Kamala and Tim. Um, further their journey to uh, lead America. Don't be overconfident, but you guys are, I mean, you're watching me. We've been following this all along. We're just, we just want a better world. I know that. And we're willing to, willing to work for it. And so just keep up the good work, guys. All right, look at look at this hibiscus. Can you believe? Can you believe this plant? I I just can't get over it. And you know, I every day I show it to you. I'm like, oh, look how beautiful it is. Oh my goodness. I was, we were down the Cape yesterday. We got kind of caught in traffic, so we took some of the back roads. And everybody's hibiscus on the Cape is looking like this. It's just like um, it's an amazing hibiscus year. Um, so and hydrangea year. So it is a beautiful, beautiful uh, time of year. And I have to say, I woke up, I had a blanket on this morning. I have on long pants and a long shirt. I'm so excited that it that I don't have to walk around half naked. I think so are my neighbors actually. But anyway, they don't seem to they don't seem to say anything. But uh let's see, what is the temp now? It is it is sixty degrees this morning. And um it is most wonderful. Of course, it is cloudy and it is raining a little bit, but I don't mind this at all. Have yourself a wonderful day. Uh, good news. Tim Walls, Kamala Harris. We're on our way, guys. We just have to keep our eye on the prize. Do what we need to do one step at a time. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. What do you think, Charlie? He's happy. All right, guys. Take care. Much love. Um, we're going to be doing Mystic Sisters Live on Friday, 7 Eastern, 6 Central on Ona's Tarot. I'll put something up. I'll just put a little announcement up. If you have any questions you want us to look at or, or themes, we'll just go with, you know, what, what's coming to mind. But if there's something that's really sort of like itching, you're itching to know. If you put it in the comment section of what I'm going to put up today, uh, we'll try to uh, we'll try to look at it. Okay, all right. Much love, everyone. Namaste.